I just got home from bringing Donovan to school and shopping. I don't know why I'm singing at all, but I tend to do that. All right, I got Miss Myers. I went to Target. Anyone who doesn't know this, I didn't know this until very recently when my son was very picky about it. Capri Sun has two different fruit punches. I'm sure they might even have more. But they have this one, the 100% juice one, right? Fruit, fruit punch. And see how it's got apples and grapes right there, right? So it's just like, okay. So this is an apple-y, grape -y fruit punch. You look at the back, I don't see any concentrates that specifically say anything about pineapple or strawberry because, you know, maybe there might be at least, you know, one of those allergies in uh, Donovan's class or something, you know? So that's what we got. I did not realize. I don't know if you did. This says fruit punch. Do you see that? Fruit punch. Well, wait a sec. This one's fruit punch. Okay. They must be the same thing, right? Capri Sun fruit punch? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, by the way, uh, we're, lawn is getting trimmed, so that's what you're hearing in the background. Life happens. So anyway, that's why I'm talking this loud. I hope you can hear me. Fruit punch! <laughs> right? Now you're saying I can't see the fruits, Miranda, unless you show me. Yes. Wait, there are grapes, right? That's, that's we had, but there's an apple. That's the same. But wait, what's that yellow thing? Is that another? Is that another apple? Is that a cut apple? Wait, wait, what's what's this? That's interesting. There's a couple more fruits here that weren't there before. Let's check the ingredients. Ooh, you're right here. Hi, how you doing? He can't see me, there are blinds, but still, right there. Um, oh, well, look at that. Now it says orange. That wasn't there before. I saw cherry. I did not see orange. Apple and pineapple. The dreaded fruit. Not for our house, but unfortunately, you know, you do have to be considerate of other people. You know, things happen. You know, you live around other people, you have to think about them. Who'd have thought? So, there are some allergies in the class that we have to be careful for, so it'd be really helpful if there weren't a couple of different versions of the same thing, hmm? That's my frustrated mom voice. I'm gonna get rid of that now. Ah! Okay. So I wanted to share this nice thing that I'm eating this morning as well, since uh, I have you here for some products. Uh, we have this. Oh. None of these are sponsored. I don't have any sponsors. I don't have any. I don't. If you ever see an ad on my video, it's YouTube completely. I'm not even monetized. I'm just here making silly videos and trying to be helpful because. These are so good. Sandwich bros, they're like for something that's quick you put in the microwave, they're pretty good. They have, I think an egg white and turkey sausage or something like that. They have one where it's just, what was it? I think it was just sausage and cheese. There was no egg. They just have a few varieties. They're good. And this specific, this specific one is what it looks like. So you see. The sandwich looks like this. A little cheese, a little egg. You're supposed to put the cheese on top when you're heating it up on a microwave safe plate. Cover with paper towel, one minute. But after experimenting a little bit, the best way honestly is if you wrap it in a slightly damp paper towel for about 40 seconds and then you put it in the toaster oven for the lowest, but you stop it before it's done. Actually, it really depends on your toaster oven and your microwave. Um, I believe that this egg is fully cooked, so I don't think that there's a risk of hurting myself with that, which is why I will experiment. But um, in terms of, you don't want a frozen egg in the middle of your sandwich. So it just says, put the, the part with the cheese side up wrap it up and put it in there for a minute so if i don't feel like doing the toaster oven i just do the, the full minute i do a slightly damp paper towel slightly damp paper towels are your friend when it comes to microwaves 
and bread. Not all the time, not all breads, not all cases, but it's helpful, I'm just saying. Recycle. Okay, there's another product that I wanted to mention here because I didn't know it existed until I accidentally saw it on in the store. And we tried to get Donovan interested in it, but, but he's just, because they're circles, I thought he'd be interested, but he was not having it. But they're pretty cool. Did you know that Uncrustables made this? Did you know about these? Because I sure didn't know about these. I was like, what? I'll show you what they look like. There's, there's three packs of two, like this. One, two, three. Size comparison. Regular PBJ. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff away now because I'm not making it. I got to get my egg sandwich. I'm going to address an elephant in the room that may or may not exist in your world, but I am in New York, and you may be wondering to yourself, why is she making a microwavable frozen egg and cheese? She's in New York. Well, to that I say, it, like everything else, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, and uh, the really cool thing about this little sandwich is you can separate the other side without the cheese and put some avocado, some bacon, some whatever you want to put in there. Some beans. I haven't done the beans. I haven't done, I, the only thing I think I did was, uh, yeah, I did a couple tater tots and I had avocado. It's all good, so it's just nice. I keep forgetting, like I, I keep, there's no way I could do live because I realized that I've been doing this and I keep restarting myself when I'm like, no, that's not what I wanted to say. And then I'll have to edit that. I don't want to do that. I just want to talk naturally like I always do. That's why I've been trying to leave less, bigger chunks of ums and so's because that's how I talk. I hate the fact that I say like as much as I do. I hate the fact that I say so as much as I do, but I do those things. And I don't want to represent myself so falsely that if I did do live, it would be like night and day. I just, no, that's just me. Everybody's got their own motives on being on YouTube. I don't think I ever want, I don't think I want to do live, but you know, never say never. Things can happen. Right now I have no ideas, no plans to do any live anything. Um, the only thing I think I could do live well is just sing constantly because I do that. <laughs> it's what I do. I have a liquid eyeliner to try, but that's not that exciting. <laughs> I'm not really good at applying it. It's not like I'm gonna be like, ooh, and be able to say, any oh, you know, I'm a regular person though. If you like the regular person thing. All right, give me a sec, give me a sec. <clears throat> Bring you along. You get to see up my nose a little bit. Hi. Hmm. How are you? Hey, I didn't get to fully show off. It's getting so long. This looks tighter than it is. It's really not tight. See, I just loosened it completely. It's because it's not tight. <laughs> Neither is the back. You know what I like about my hair like this? I don't have to worry about these hairs coming out all the time. These hairs are still too short though. I do have to pin them. They're still a little too short to just go right into the ponytail. They're getting there. Yeah, this is, oh, I've started opening it. This is what I got. Nouveau. I don't know if it's Nouveau. I feel like I've seen it. Um, it might be new packaging. They don't specify what is new. Claiming this is new, but I could. Lime stiletto. Okay. This is black as black, and it's just liquid eyeliner. I'm doing this one-handed. It's probably not a good idea for a first impression situation. Let me place you somewhere. Where do you put? That's it. 
Yep. Okay. Reverse. Hi. All right. Um, this thing that I got super cheap, little stand. I'm gonna place you on here. Another thing I don't like that I did in a video, I was saying we got vaccinated, and I'm like, I'm not going to pretend that I think that I am more than one person. I don't want to offend anybody else. It's almost like the royal be like I'm being pompous about it. I don't like that either, so. Okay, maybe I should move this and sit on the floor. That might be a better move here than what I am trying to do. Are you going to tilt? Are you going to fall forward? Oh my gosh, it looks like it could. Put something in the back to wait. My son's puzzle pieces. Yes, there's stuff everywhere, okay? I'm a mom. For one of his puzzles, it's got like, you know, the different ways to... To dress and things like that. I wrote in the back of them because he likes words too, so I wrote button snap. Another tip for anyone out there. You have Melissa and Doug puzzles that are wooden and stuff. If they don't say anything in the back and you want to add... Oh, I gotta, now I gotta show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Like for example, the Melissa and Doug puzzles with the numbers. I should really sit on the floor instead of what I'm doing. Like this. Number five, how nice, a little peg puzzle, pull it out. And I think it's got like something underneath in the puzzle itself. But then what I did just to add an extra element is I wrote the word and then I put dots. Red dots, how many red dots? And he loved it. He's been counting for a long time. So, okay. So for example, we got this letter N and then I put this in the back. Capital, lowercase. Just a little tip for anyone whose kids are really visual and they like to explore all parts of their toys. Okay, I'm gonna try the eyeliner. I also bought, I bought a mini sewing machine, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything on camera necessarily because I'm not good at sewing. I'm teaching myself. I'm just playing around with some stuff. So it's not really, it's for me. If I feel like there's something I want to share because I'm like, oh my gosh, look, this is really easy to do, cool to make, or I'm proud of this, then I'll, I'll show that. But otherwise I'm not, it's not like, oh, come with my, my sewing journey. Come with me on my sewing journey thing. It's not, it's not that. Eh, which way am I supposed to open this? I, I'm a mess. Oh, you just twist. You just twist. Just twist. Okay. I didn't know which way I was holding it. This is the pot. This is the pot. Stiletto, huh? Hmm. Okay. First impression. Just my first impression as someone who doesn't really know makeup. This is stiletto. I disagree. I have... I don't think this should be called stiletto just only because the tip of it is not as pointy as quite a few liquid eyeliners I have had in the past. So immediately I'm like, I wouldn't think stiletto. Maybe because it looks like a heel, but like, it's just not the pointy that I want. I don't know. Is that me? Say, it's all right, but it's not as... Like it is, it's going on smooth, smoothly, but it's not necessarily the look that I was expecting when I saw the word stiletto. All right, it's not a good first impression because I'm not very good at applying things, but, or having the right lighting or anything right now. This is what we got. See, I messed up on this side, you can see. It's not a bad application. Um, I don't, I don't know why I went out that far. I didn't mean to really. I'm going to go and finish my food. I just wanted to share those reviews and give that little 
a quick little tip for anyone who has a kid or knows somebody who has a kid or just is bored. I'll end with the kitty cat because she's right here. So that'll be perfect. Um, have a great day and I know you will now that I'm saying goodbye on this note. Dun 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 d